This tutorial looks at how to get started with Kite Loops and gives you tips to minimize the risk involved. You can practice your first loops without a board. If you have a trainer kite, this could be a good place to start. Start with the kite near 12, then steer as hard as you can. Keep steering until the kite is climbing again. Definitely do not stop steering while the kite is heading down. You could also practice your first loops while body dragging. This should be on a day when there's barely enough wind to ride. Point your body downwind and steer as hard as you can. The faster you steer, the less powerful the loop. Next, you can work on kite loop water starts, also on a light wind day. As before, steer as hard as possible. Steering firmly gives a smaller loop. Steering slowly, on the other hand, gives a larger kite loop. This dives further into the power zone and pulls for much longer. It is also important to remember that the kite loop will force you downwind. You can't stop it. So, you must head downwind towards the kite as it loops. Next, you can work on some down loops while riding. Like the water start kite loop, it is essential that you ride downwind as the kite loops. If you carve completely downwind before the kite pulls you downwind, then you won't feel any aggressive acceleration. The first aerial kite loop to try is the heli loop. Just before you land, start diving the kite as normal with the front hand. Then, keep pulling the front hand as you land until the kite loops. The heli loop should be a short loop at the top of the wind window. This gives lots of lift and if timed well, can actually help you land with less impact. Just make sure to not start the heli loop early. The heli loop can be a useful tool. If you notice you're landing too slowly to ride away, keep pulling the front hand and the heli loop will get you moving downwind. The final part of this tutorial is the back loop. As the name suggests, you steer hard with the back hand for this loop. The back loop accelerates you far more aggressively than the previous techniques. The back loop pulls against your direction of travel, creating more apparent wind and accelerating your body significantly. You must be ready to accelerate downwind and then drop when you back loop. But don't worry. In order to practice safely, there are ways to reduce the power of a back loop. The easiest way to limit risk is to back loop in very light wind. Also, reducing your board speed makes the back loop much weaker, as does reducing the height of your jump and pop from the water. And, of course, steering as hard as possible will make sure the loop is over quickly. Learning to kite loop is risky, but I hope this tutorial gives you a safer way to get started. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tutorials.